Day three of protesting marked by damage to buildings, graffiti visible throughout downtown Little Rock. Hillary Hunt joining us now live from right near the state capitol where a building there suffered some of the most uh, severe uh, damage there. Shattered windows, also a fire last night, Hillary. Yeah, that's right, Bob. When you stand outside of the Arkansas Pharmacists Association right now, you can still smell that fiery smell despite it being boarded up right now. But here's the thing. Multiple businesses and buildings just like this that are near the Capitol say this isn't the first night that they saw damage. Uh, the second night, uh, they came back and, and damaged the glass even further on this building. Shattered glass and boarded up windows. John Vinson with the Arkansas Pharmacists Association gives us a look at what you can see when you drive by the APA building just feet from the state capitol. We have had damage to our building the last three nights in a row. Inside. This is where the real damage starts to, to happen. The scene is similar, but everything's covered in ash after the building was lit on fire when that peaceful protest turned violent. It caused extensive damage throughout our building. That vandalism seen for blocks as this bank works to replace glass doors. But back close to the Capitol, beauty begins to cover up the destruction. I'd rather see some color, some positivity. As these artists try to paint a new narrative. I think it's important to Organized instead of destroying and if we can create something to inspire something better, why not do that? And when it comes to this building, what's been done is affecting more than just the structure. And the damage to our buildings interferes with our ability to provide health care. So I'd ask them to please consider that and, and to leave our buildings alone. And earlier today, I walked around these areas and started seeing more boards just like this one here. A lot of those business owners tell me they're doing it presumptively just in case things get violent again tonight. In Little Rock, I'm Hillary Hunt. Back to you.